I've been involved in LGBT activism since the early 90s. I remember my first pride parades. I was in uh, Oasis. It was a, a youth LGBT group. And uh, either in front of us or in back of us in, in the march was ACT UP. And I remember when we came up to some of those religious people holding up the sign saying, you know, God hates gay people, that sort of thing. Um, one of the members of ACT UP just ran up to them and go, you have to accept me. And I remember even back then thinking to myself, yeah, that's, that's not how it works. You can't force people to accept you. You can't force people to like something. It, it just doesn't work that way. You know, then there was, uh, there was a planning meeting for an anti-gay bill that would make it so people could discriminate against LGBT, uh, any kind of business, insurance companies, hospitals, anything could discriminate against, fully discriminate against LGBT, and it would remove any LG, any LGBT characters in, uh, in any books, K through 12, you know, public schools or in public libraries would have to be removed. It, it, if it says anything positive about LGBT, it needs to be removed. That's how draconian this was. So a few friends of mine and I went to this planning meeting where, uh, I don't know whether you call it a planning meeting. It was, it was a meeting where people were coming together to find out more about this anti-gay bill. And uh, my friends and I, you know, one at a time would, would ask the speaker, you know, raise their hands and say, well, you know, what about uh, where it says this? And, you know, and it's really anti-gay stuff. And you go, well, it doesn't say that anywhere. And you go, well, yeah, it does. It says it right here. And everyone murmurs in the room uh, going, wow, we didn't know it really said that, you know. And we, we did it. I think we did it at least like three times. Same sort of thing. And, and it had people thinking, um, well, maybe we shouldn't support this. And we finally get to the end of the of the meeting, and you know, I, I think we we had done a lot of good by those questions that we asked. Suddenly, act up, barges into the room and go, "You all should be ashamed of yourselves! Shame, shame!" And they every time they said the word shame, they walked one, you know, one step, right, and circled the whole room. And by the time they left, the speaker that was promoting the bill was smiling from ear to ear because he knew that a lot of the work that uh, my friends and I had done was, was toast. People now had a negative view of LGBT and LGBT activism, you know, and, uh, you know, there, there's just things that just don't make any sense. Some types of activism that just don't work. And... There's, I mean, in over the past year, there's there's forms of activism that just aren't very effective. You know, you're 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 pushing more people away than you're bringing in. You know, um, but uh, recently, the uh, Gay Men's Choir of San Francisco decided they were. Uh, going to release a sort of a satire kind of video saying, yeah, uh, we're coming for your children, but uh, it's to make them more tolerant. And it's just like, um, yeah, that, that, that doesn't help. You, 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 can't, you can't even say we're coming for your children or people are going to interpret it as sexually. You know, you, you can't, you know, you can't do that kind of parody. People are not going to get it. And it says, uh, Oh, we're going to convert your children. We're going to come for your children. We're going to make them more tolerant. We're going to make them care for equality. And it's just like, you can't force, no matter how you go about it, you can't force people to be for things. Now, you can, you can say that you hope that, you know, the education system will, will, will promote tolerance and stuff like that. Okay, fine, but this, this message of we're coming for your children, that's not a good message. You know, we've been, we've been trying to fight the, the, this notion that we're coming for your children for a long time. But then we've had, we've had the, the 
drag queen story hour stuff going on, which I don't understand it. I don't, I, I mean, it's, I don't think it's hurting anything, but I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, all kids are going to see is, is someone, you know, with all this weird makeup and they're, they're wearing these weird outfits. It's, it's like a clown, you know, a, 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 an over the top feminine clown of some sort. And, and that's, I mean, sure, it, it, they'll they'll not be as afraid of people with weird makeup. Okay, great. But what what does this really achieve? It's weird to me. So these messages saying we're coming for your children, that's that's never going to go over well. It's going to that video by itself could have, you know, over the next few years, and how often it's going to be referred to. That video by itself could have sent us back 30 years when it comes to gay activism. Could have sent us back 30 years. Can't believe you did it. Can't believe you'd, you'd be so stupid as to push that kind of messaging. Somehow thinking that that's, that would be in your favor. How? What worries me the most is that this has been done during this creeping fascism that we have, as I've talked about in other videos, it's, it's, it's happening at a time when we have, you know, Christian supremacy, uh, uh, monoculturalism, you know, tradi traditional 1950s values, because they're not really traditional, they're, they're the, romantiz the romanticization of, uh, of 1950s uh, living through through the movies and such, right? Oh, that's that was just the great period. They don't they they never mind. They don't think about the tax codes then and you know corporate taxes and such. But it was just a great period. That's that's when we were real Americans. Yeah, that's when in God we trust was added to uh, the rest of our currency and it and uh, under God was added to the pledge. But you know. That's what they view as, you know, this tradition, this way that we should go back to. And we've got that floating around, you know, in God we trust, uh, mixed with this almost idolization, uh, uh, um, extreme admiration for, uh, uh, and total loyalty to Trump. But that could easily switch to total loyalty to DeSantis. We've, we've got 2024 coming up, and Biden and Harris are not going to win. No, they're, they're not going to win. I, I see there is as almost, almost no chance of them winning. So we're probably going to have either DeSantis or Trump. Maybe, a, a, maybe they'll work together. Maybe it'll be Trump-DeSantis, you know, because Trump probably won't have uh, Pence again, right? But, uh, yeah, so, like, by 2026, I could honestly see some sort of legislation that tries to separate from society LGBT activists, probably starting with trans people. That's what I see. And you can say, no, no, we'll never go there, no, I, 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 if... If people use these this messaging of hey we're you know we're coming for your children if if yeah, that's 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 it's it's gonna haunt us for a long time it, it's it's really the worst messaging I I could have ever possibly imagined I wasn't going I wasn't going to make this video and then I saw that and I'm my jaw dropped I'm going you've got to be fucking kidding me you're seriously going to push that kind of messaging that's crazy that's crazy. It's going to hurt us so badly. Doesn't matter if it was satire. Just like my last video that I made that was really, it, it was kind of dumb. I like that, doing that character once in a while, but I shouldn't do it for a whole video unless the whole thing is really just absurd and silly. So, you know, I privated that video. But that certainly wasn't the kind of mistake that this choir made. I mean... Everyone in that choir had to have agreed to it. I mean, if they didn't, then they would have, they could have, you know, maybe they walked out and said, no, this is a dumb idea, but probably not. They probably all agreed with it, thinking it was some sort of grand idea. Aha, we're being so funny, haha. Not thinking about 
you know, what the audience is going to think of it. So, I guess I've rambled long enough. I just, I just can't believe they did that. You know, it's really going to hurt us really bad.